I'm looking at this unit, the Dark Ivor. It seems good. It's got this uh, third skill, attack power buff, attack bar boost, and then everyone attacks random enemies. I'm like, this could be a pretty fun third skill. And then it, it dawns on me. It's like, this seems familiar. And then I realize the light homunculus has <laughs> almost the same skill. Such creative new mechanics count to us has. It's just the same thing as Rock On, except that it increases attack bar as well. It's one extra turn of attack power, and instead of all attacking the target of your choice, it attacks random targets. But it's basically, it's basically Rock On. So obviously I don't have the unit, in case that wasn't, I'm, I'm not a sponsored Summoner's War Twitch streamer. I'm not even a, really a Twitch streamer anymore, am I? But that's the, besides the point. We're going to see who moves first. Ethna, okay. Rolling Spike does not get her. A Sailing Horn. Okay. Everyone hits. Random targets. Uh, we, well, they got a stun. They got a stun. All right. Molly's down a pretty decent amount. Gets resisted. Wild Roar. I wasn't even paying attention to this, uh, this Druid. Both teams trying to... Uh, okay. This is... Well, you know they're gonna ban the Leo. That that Water Chimera just gives it away. Let's see what winds up happening. Oh, Vertiheal didn't even... Didn't even revenge. Not bad. So far. Oh, the uh, first skill is a defense break. Second skill is continuous damage. Multiple hits, continuous damage. I don't know, man. The more I think about these, the more I compare their skills to things we already have in the game. I know what Comptuous was trying to do when they decided on the skills for these units is they wanted things that were not as good when they first came out and they could shove in balance patches so they don't have to balance the things that we have more. I mean, this one, this one's better than some of the other ones, but that's just how it is with, that's just how it is now with every, every new unit. They're like, oh, we're going to release it. Not that good. And then we're going to slowly keep buffing it and buffing it to keep people entertained and excited and whatever long term. It's just another episode of LD Arena. The Ragdoll, they have the Leo, they have... It's kind of odd to see two different... It feels like two different comps on the player closest to us. So, they've got it with the Gianna, which means that she's going to... Well, she's going to increase her attack age in two different ways. She's got it with the, with the increased attack age from that, and then also teaming up will uh, increase the attack age. She'll... She'll, um, she'll do that! <laughs> it's a skill one. Okay. Oh, it's still alive. Well, she is a tank, though. She is a tank. She is a... Well, a, I think it's a support unit. Okay. Bye-bye more. Guess the bombs. I think... I think Masha's got this. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I would like to think Masha's got this, but it's probably just Gianna's got this. Yeah, I, I, I. Or best is just gonna solo these two units. There we go. Both players looking to outspeed. Both players getting very aggressive in their quest for outspeeding. Player on the left hand side's got it. Yeah. That uh, water puppeteer is very fast, though. Her base speed, very, very fast. Oh, I think they, I think there, there's gonna be a comeback here. Okay. Triton's going down. They got the stuns. Let's see. Continuous, the continuous, <laughs> nothing. Continuous figment of your imagination, is what that was. It was a couple. It was like three continuous damage. Okay, there we go. I see the synergy they're going for. She's gonna team up with Iris. We're gonna do a lot of uh, CCs, strips and CCs, possibly. But man, those passives, those passives now. The Water Hollyberry too. 
There's just so many good passives. Too many good pass uh, par <laughs> passives. Too many good passives to use uh to use Iris and get away with it. Most of the time. Not always. Depends on the comp. But if your opponent's playing in turn two, that Iris is not gonna work. There's just too too many things that just naturally like of course the units that they picked here, Josephine, Meiha Wang. Uh, even Douglas would have been good on the other side as well. Uh, like I said, Water Holly Berry, Molly. There's too many good passives nowadays. Iris is, is just... I I don't know if I saw her win rate or I'm just imagining it's bad. It's got to not be good, though. I mean, no one's really using her, but for the few that actually are, it, it's, it can't be good. I saw what they were going for, but it's just not not in this meta. So the Dominic is not going to do Dominic things when they team up. Although Dominic with attack power buff is going to be pretty nasty. So attack power buff attacks random enemies, gets a stun on Riley. Not bad. Oh, he gets a he gets all the good debuffs. Oh, he gets all the stuns too. Oh, he gets all the RNG. I'm jealous resists it's not even the biggest the biggest deal look at all those debuffs man he's landing all these debuffs so with the volantis kind of similar to the uh the dark praha <laughs> kind of similar to the giada um volantis with skill one will increase his attack age when when he gets teamed up with I'm, I, I don't know if you already saw but I'm sure you guys already know because we play with Volantis every time there's a Europe server video where I play with the Europe server account, Volantis comes out. There we go. Well, he could still get stunned and I'm sure he will get stunned. Stunned, attack power broken and glancing hits. Yeah. There we go. Same player as the last match. Leo, second round pick. Gets punished by Verti Heal and Fire Shadow Claw. What is a Fire Shadow Claw's name again? I, I already forgot. Bernadotte? I think it's Bernadotte. Yeah, so the Fire Shadow Claw in the opponent's comp is like a zero speed Fire Shadow Claw. Or a very, very slow Fire Shadow Claw. That was so fast. Free to play team on the right hand side, of course. Of course. So, left hand side, gonna take turn one. However,. Oh, they're not fast enough to... Alright, they're not fast enough to uh, cut in. So they don't really have to worry too much. They're also going to increase the attack bar with the Water Puppeteer. There you go. I can't imagine they're going to come back from this. Yeah. So we got to see what she could do. So far, she is my favorite of the units that we have covered in the videos. However, there's still so many more that we still have yet. But she is, for all intents and purposes, an LD5 version of another LD5. An LD5 version of the Light Homunculus. Which, I mean, yeah, you can't take it into PvP, but either way. Which would you prefer? Ivor or Dark Ivor or the, uh, the Light Homunculus? Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.